Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tsai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to get Fallout 4 working on Crossover on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So I'm recording this on my MacBook Air 2020 with the M1 Apple Silicon chip. And what you need to do first is to install Crossover. So if you haven't done this already, then please follow the link on the top right hand corner of the screen, which appears now on this card. And that's going to take you to my crossover tutorial, which will show you how to install Steam on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So once you've installed Steam, all you have to do is to download your copy of Fallout 4 on Steam and have that ready to play now. What you also need to do is to enable some features on the Steam bottle that you've installed. So if you don't have this side menu up, then what you could do is click on that and then control click on Steam. Make sure that you enable the DXPK backend for D3D11 and you also enable Performance Enhanced Synchronization or eSync so that the software will be able to run properly. So um, before we start, there's a couple of tweaks that you really need to apply before we can actually play the game properly. So the first thing is that when you actually enter the game, you won't be able to move your mouse in 360 degrees. That's due to an issue with the way that the mouse is bound to the desktop while you're playing the game. What you need to do is to go into Finder and then locate your save games, which is normally kept under the Documents My Games Fallout 4 folder. And then we need to Control click on the INI file and then edit with text edit. We need to add this line to the control section of this any file, which is b background mouse equals one. So copy that from the description in the video and then paste it here and then click file and save. The next thing we need to do is to resolve an issue with the audio. So one of the problems is that when you load the game, you'll not get the full audio experience and none of the voices will work and a lot of the sound effects don't work properly either. And so what you need to do is to click on the steam bottle here and then click wine configuration here and then what we need to do is to go to the libraries tab and then we need to enable four specific audio overrides which I've already done here. So we need to pick the, from the list here and find X audio 26 for example and we need to add that in, add this one in, add X3D audio 1 underscore 6 and also add X3D audio 1 underscore 7. So we need to have all of these four overrides added to this list and then the audio will actually work properly. So I'm going to show you now how Fallout 4 performs. So we're going to click on the actual options menu and this is the only place we can actually make changes to the graphic settings. So I'm going to punch it down to low because I think it's good to put it down lower so that we have a better frame rate, for, especially when we're recording. And I'm just going to turn off a couple of things here like God Rays, let's just turn it off. And uh, I think everything else is just kind of off in general and turned as low as possible so that we have as good a frame rate as we can get at 1080p. So if we just press play now and we're going to load into the game. Um, so we fixed the audio. I've also turned off the music in advance because I don't want to get copyright striked. And then now uh, let's have a look at the single player game. So I'm going to show you the settings that I'm using here. Um, the music in-game is turned off and uh, we don't have many options here in terms of graphic settings but uh, some of the fade distances are there and I'm just going to continue my save game which I had from earlier. I'll show you this one from the, the part where you exit the house. So, you know, I'm really impressed that this M1 chip runs Fallout 4 as well as it does because I tried to cross over using Fallout New Vegas and it just did not run nearly as well as this. And this is the much newer game and this one's the much more graphically impressive game and it still works really well. So as you can see, you know, it's uh, quite impressive and it renders correctly. There's a few rendering bugs I've noticed, but, you know, generally speaking, it looks pretty good. 1080p low settings. This is the beginning section where you have to run into the vault after we talk to the salesperson. So I can't display the frame rate here because the steam overlay is not working, but it feels like 50 frames per second, something like that. Maybe 40, 50. Pretty smooth. So the shadows look pretty bad here, but that's just because I've pumped it down to low settings. Okay, go ahead. You, 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 
What's gonna happen to all those people outside the gate? Everything we can. Now keep moving. I can see a few graphical glitches like these uh, kind of pop-ins there from the transparency, I think, from this fence. Doesn't quite look right. Feels a little jittery, but generally speaking, quite good. Almost there. We're going to be okay. I love you. Both of you. I love you too. Hold on! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! I can hear a bit of audio distortion as well. I'm not sure if that's coming through on the recording, but um, it's slightly jittery. We did it. We made it. We're okay. Everyone, please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just. Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. We left a minute later. No, no, we don't. Don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Everyone, just head up these stairs and through the door there. All new residents, please proceed in an orderly fashion. Welcome. So this is mostly an interior section, so it's not particularly challenging to play this. So let me load up a different save game. So now I'm just loading a previous save game that I made before on my first playthrough of the game. And I'm just loading up into the exterior world so that we can see a little bit more about what is more indicative of the actual performance of the actual game when you're exploring and walking around. So I'm um, here I'm in my power armor and the audio is actually working correctly um, where it wasn't doing before. Let's go and find something to shoot so we can actually see what a firefight looks like. I can see a few texture issues like this transparency which is not quite working correctly. These sound effects look a little bit bugged. I can hear some things are much louder than others, but generally speaking, it works pretty well.
So anyway, as you can see, the game does really work well on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. If you found this tutorial and gameplay video useful, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next tech video.